Welcome to Metal Titans, Guardians of Metal Entertainment Worldwide. I am here with Jeff of Cataclysm. Thank you for conducting this interview with me today. Mm, thank you. Um, first, I'd like to congratulate you on being um, one of the nominees for the Metal Artist Group of the Year Award. Mm -hmm. We want to wish you the best of luck in that. I, I don't even know when is this award taking place. Like, I, I heard, I, I heard, I'm, I'm not, not that, quite sure. I just kind of saw this. I heard piece. when I made it, I thought it was like a great thing. I thought, You're like, well, yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah, sweet. <laughs> now, where is it? <laughs> no, <laughs> we I, need directions. I know we won it like a couple of years ago, and like, to be nominated again is like, amazing. It's oh, great. congratulations. I, just, <laughs> I always feel proud like whenever something is going on back home in Canada to like, try to acknowledge whatever bands doing it. Like uh, internationally, I think it's great because not a lot of people like uh, like knows or I'd say like, like the underground knows, but like the big media in Canada don't really support underground metal, so it's great yeah. whenever people are doing something like that. So, yes, <laughs> awesome. Like I always see like in Norway or Sweden, like bands are getting like acknowledged on the big like award shows oh, and I know. stuff. And, like like every other week, it's like oh this band was nominated. It's like really how many awards from yeah, Europe? They, they, they don't do it here. <laughs> Canada, I think it's a shame because yeah. like, the underground scene is very strong and very like uh, uh, doing well world worldwide. Like yeah. we have so many bands like touring the world, and, it's, and it's, I think it's just crazy that they don't talk about it. I wish they more. Well, other than that, um, how's the tour been going for you guys? It's been speaking really, tour. really, really good. <laughs> like we started in December, so we did like the Eastern Quebec uh, and Ontario part of Canada, and then we went to Europe for. Uh, all of January, February, and that was amazing. Like we did like beyond like expectation. Oh, you know, good. The amount of people that came to the shows and like the, the fans and the, the support we had, it was really, really, really good. And now, now we're starting this uh, North American part of the tour. So so far so good. We're like eight shows into it now, and it's been really good every night so far. We are having a good time because we we like the bands on the tour. We're mm -hmm. like, we're um, getting along with everybody. And we're sharing the bus with all Shaw Parish guys and are super cool. Yeah, dudes they're too. super yeah. nice, yeah. So it's it's nice, it's just a good vibe to the whole thing and, and so far we haven't had like really bad shows, so it's been like consistent every night. Like, oh that's great. Good amount of people every day. No matter if it's a weekend or a weekday, it's been good. So looking forward for the West Coast and the South of the States the Exactly. So like now that you said that touring with all these bands has been so great, have you is there any chance, perhaps, in the future of touring with them all together again, or maybe one or two of them? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because, yeah. like, uh, I mean, most of these bands are, are new friends to me. Like, I never knew really, I never knew them before. I knew a bit small down because Charles or Pegasus mm -hmm. the yeah. last, <laughs> but everyone else, I, I, I didn't know anybody else. So it's nice to to meet new people, and they're super cool, no e ego whatsoever, and it's been a good time. Cool. Now, also, Cataclysm just got confirmed for Valk in 2011. Yeah. What emotions run through you when you <laughs> when you heard the the news of being? Confirmed? You know, to be honest, like I, I to me, it's like I, I love playing those big open air festivals. But to me, like every show is like as important as the other one, even if it's a small club mm -hmm. day, yeah. or like a, a huge open air festival. It's just like. To me, it's this pretty much the same thing. Besides, maybe the party because why? Well, Vacan has some crazy party backstage, <laughs> but like to me, it's a show is a show, and I treat it every time the same. No matter if there's two people or there like fifty thousand, like, who knows, right? Yeah, it doesn't change anything. Like I'm, I'm I just want to play a good show, perform well, and, and try to entertain whoever is there in front of me. And that's more how I see it. But yeah, it's exciting to see to play uh, those festivals in Europe because. Uh, a lot of friends are playing as well, so you're oh, yeah. a lot of bands that you don't get to see a lot. And yeah. Like you go there, like hey, what's up? <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's like a big friend reunion, and it's it's oh, really really fun. That's really cool. Yeah, no, it's especially just like you get to see all the different fans from around the world when you treat each show the same. Yeah, yeah. like like if you but if you play like a festival like Wacken, it's pretty international because mm -hmm. everybody from all over the world flies there to see mm -hmm. the show, so it's kind of playing like to the world at one time, so that's pretty cool. Have you found anybody, um, a fan that perhaps has come all the way from like Canada to Vaken or like a festival yeah, that's been like, I came Canadians all the way to see you. Like, oh, cool. The last time, like, uh, where were we like last, like two summers ago, we were like, in Czech Republic, and, uh, <laughs> the other side of the world. And I'm like walking around, 
I started hearing like some hardcore, like French from Quebec. I'm like, oh what the god. hell? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Like, I turn around, I see like Quebec flags and tents, and, like, <laughs> and they're all like swearing, like all this stuff. And I'm like, hey! <laughs> so, like, <laughs> someone from home. Yeah, I just walked over to them, started like, talking, and like, yeah, we got beers, we got Jack, whatever you guys want. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've had so, that too. Like, I went to Japan a few mm -hmm. years ago, and I was just like walking down the street. I heard someone speaking English, and I looked over, and they had like a metal shirt. And I was like, right. hey! Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hello! <laughs> Um, now with your latest video, Push the Venom, um, what kind of imagery or what inspired the imagery more or less of this video? Um, it's, we wanted to kind of represent a little bit the, the concept of the album and try to somehow, like the producer had the idea of recreating like the cover artwork but as a video, oh, cool. so that's how it started basically, so like, it's basically like a, us being changed, like, having, right being prisoners of like the... Oh, angels. In there. It's like yeah, we wanted to represent a little bit of the concept of the angels as well. It has nothing to, to do with religion, really. We don't really believe or care about religion. We, yeah. Like, it's more about. It's like it's just kind of there. Yeah. <laughs> or more about like, uh, like the, the, the meaning behind the shakers, about like uh, conquering your inner demons, and, and uh, more about like. Uh, like Everything like every time something goes right, there's always something or someone or X factor that comes in and try to uh, like destroy whatever is there. Exactly. And it's like that's pretty much the concept of our albums, more like about fighting that thing and, and, and being like this the strong force in the end. But it's that we try to represent that as a video. It's not always easy to yeah, <laughs> come no, up with especially with like a two-faced creature. It's like yeah. how do you put that in a video? <laughs> yeah. Which um, kind of leads to my next question mm -hmm. that um, on the last few albums you've had that same similar kind of like they're not all exactly the same but you've yeah. had the two face. Does this creature's any symbol to the band at all, or yeah, is I it mean, more we're, we're, just kind of cool? <laughs> no, Cataclysm has always been like uh, we try to represent like a chaotic kind of balance between like I'd say like a maybe like a darker side of life and a better side of life. It's like we we want to re we believe that nothing really works without that balance and you need both sides to, to make it work and that's pretty much what that beast represents like the oh, that's cool. good and bad side of everyone and, and uh, we we believe that's that's like how it should be and and that's how we came up with the concept and we thought it looked really cool so like we wanted to do something like. Eddie from Iron Maiden and bring it back every record <laughs> and do something different. And then, it's funny because I wrote that down as like yeah. a side note, like is it maybe kind of like an Eddie from Iron yeah, Maiden but then you said it, so. That was the idea at first, but we'll see, we'll see what happens next like, record. Like, we, we take every album like about one time and we, we don't really have plans for the next one, we just go with it and roll mm -hmm. it. So we, we never know what we're gonna do next. Like, Maybe five years down the road, you'll have a mechanical one of those yeah, walking around yeah. the stage. <laughs> we're gonna get them killed by another one. <laughs> exactly. You just have, or you just have them two separate ones, yeah. and then there's a battle going on. Except that's going into Guar now. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now the band has recently contributed songs to Rock Band. What? Mm -hmm. How did that feel to be part of one of the you biggest know, video games ever? The, the awesome thing about the Rock Band thing is like the, the song determined when they came out. Mm -hmm. It was the first song available for the double kick. Like I saw there. that. I saw it on YouTube. So, so it's like everyone that bought that double kick thing for Christmas, like they, they didn't have any options. It was only that song available. <laughs> so like that, I, th I guess it brought a lot to the band, and like a lot yeah. of people didn't know about Cataclysm when I hadn't bought the record just because <laughs> of that. So. It's, it was a great thing for us, uh, absolutely. It's great to be part of like, a video game that's so popular. Yeah, no kidding. It feels good. Well, thank you, Jeff, for doing this interview with Metal Titans. Mm -hmm. um, before we finish, is there anything you'd like to send out to the fans? Uh, just a big thank you to everyone. Like, I mean, I don't think this battle would be a year, still 20 years later, if it wasn't for the fans, because we never really had big support for any, any big media or like anything like like we were talking earlier, yeah. the Canadian industry or whatever, mm -hmm. nobody ever yes. like supported us. So if it wasn't for like the iron fans that come to see us every night and, and support like buying our records and buying shirts and exactly. all that stuff, we wouldn't be around. So a big thank you to everyone. And, like, it's amazing support. Like, 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 like,
Thank you.